Hey guys, Kim here, Faceted Media, and we're going to learn again today. Yuppie skippy. Um, here are some of my tips that I save for my um, special clients uh, once you start working with me, but I'm going to go ahead and share just a little bit uh, so that you can go ahead and start using these in your own business. So one of the things that we always struggle with is how to find quality, royalty-free stock images. Um, you might know the traditional ways to finding them, which a lot of people use Pexels and Pixabay. Here I've typed in cat. However, if you just go to the homepage of Pexels, they have a lot of really cool trending stock photos that I like to go and look at because maybe they haven't been used quite as much yet. This one is kind of more of a wild card, whereas when you search, you can find exactly what you're looking for. However, it's a really good tool. Most people use it. It's so user friendly. I use it all the time. Um, but you will notice that some people are using it a little bit too frequently. And so you want to be a little bit different. Over here at Pixabay, this is one of the original ones. Um, the thing that's different about this one, you can do illustrations and vector graphics. So that can be really helpful when you're doing a logo or trying to do design for an event or something, or just want a cartoony feel. You can also do photos. Know that there will be some overlap between Pexels and um, Pixabay. So let's look at some other places that you can find photos. Okay, one is just regular old Google. You might be thinking, well, duh, I already knew that, but let's do this. Go ahead and search cat, my theme of the day. I don't have a cat. Um, all right, and then you'll go ahead and go to images. You might still be saying, okay, yeah, I knew that already, Kim. But let me tell you how you can take it just a step further. So you go ahead and go to tools. And here you're going to go ahead and go to usage rights and click labeled for use. That way you know that the video or the photos that you're choosing or you're going to be able to, um, there we go, labeled for use. Going to be able to use them and not get an email later asking you to take it down. Um, so here we go. And just one other tool under tools is making these images large. Usually that's the best route to go because in Google image search, it searches everything. So you could get a very small thumbnail, but you kind of want a larger size so you can actually manipulate it with your graphic design or your website, whatever you're using it for. So here's a bunch of different images that I can use. This one's kind of cool, the green eyes, um, but it just gives me a little bit more than I may have had with these guys. So that's one way that you can um, get some royalty free uh, images on Google. Okay. Another way that you can do it again using Google is go ahead and just search free stock photo giveaway. I tend to add giveaway because it filters out a little bit of some SEO tactics. Some of the big guys have done like the shutter stock. Um, you know, that one is not free. I know that for sure. Um, the Adobe, they're not free either. Um, a lot of these say that they're free and they're not. So um, when I add giveaway, it tends to be more small businesses and actual companies that are giving away photos. So I went ahead and did that and I picked a couple to show you. So one is I found 550 royalty free photos. This one's from HubSpot. They're a reputable company. I've subscribed to them for a lot of different things and they've put together these different collections for you. Easy enough, you know, and there's more places like this. So that's really it. They typically ask for your email. Just use an email that you use for these things. Not a big deal. Don't use your main email and get your inbox clogged up. Um, but go ahead and download these photos, especially if it's a reputable place. Make sure it's got HTTPS in the URL when you're downloading. Okay, another way to go about it is to take it one step higher and go to a website. Again, same search, but here's a list of 20 sites to use. So instead of just the images to download, the collections, I've got all these different sites. And of course, they've got your traditional Pixabay, most likely have Pexels on here as well. They've got a few other ones uh, that I haven't heard of. Some of them I have not heard of, like Magdalene. I haven't heard of that uh, before. So uh, when you're searching, of course, for lists like this, something that you can do is go to tools and go ahead and search perhaps the past month, the past year. That way you're going to find more up-to-date information. So just remember, tools is your friend in Google. Um, so a couple of those sites that came up is this one, um, so maybe some cool stuff. I like that one. I like that one. You know, there's some stuff that I can use for sure. So, um, I don't know what their rules are on these. You would have to, you know, find out as you went along. Um, but some examples of sites are, you know, they'll look like this and 
you kind of got to sort or you can search sometimes, but it's just cool to have a, a big collection of nice high resolution graphics for whatever you're doing. Um, that's about it. I want to show you one last thing. If you're a video editor, this freemusicarchive.org, fantastic for downloading stock um, music for your video projects. So if you don't have a lot of options in your video project of software, or you just want it to be a little bit more quality, this has been a wonderful source that I've been using. So um, yeah, I just, I really hope that you enjoyed everything today that you learned and know there are a lot of places to find um, your stock photos online.